In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your YouTube channel layout and branding so that it increases the engagement and also increases the chances of getting more subscribers. How to customize YouTube channel layout and branding. To start with, let's go to YouTube Studio. Once you are on your YouTube Studio, go to the left side of the screen. Go down to the customization. And you will be directed here on the channel customization page. Here you can see channel layout and channel branding. What is channel layout? This is the visual foundation of your channel. It tells the viewers what your content is about. The channel layout organizes the content of your channel and points the viewers to what they should watch. To start with customizing the channel layout, you can add a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed and also a featured video for returning subscribers. So these are the video spotlight. This will appear on the top of your channel homepage. To begin with, we can add a channel trailer for people who haven't subscribed. For example, a video that summarizes up or tells the viewers what your channel is all about, the content of your channel, and what you are offering on your channel so that they know what to expect when they check your channel or when they check your videos. Here you can add, just press the add button and you can choose videos from your channel. I choose channel introduction. This is uh, one of the latest. Here it is now the channel trailer and this is the video that will pop up when new viewers, when non-subscribers first visit on my YouTube homepage. And then the next one is the featured video for returning subscribers. This is to highlight a video for your subscribers to watch. This video won't be shown again at the top of your page for subscribers who have watched it. Now add this and this is the video that I want to feature for the returning subscribers. This is one of my latest videos. And now these videos are added, the channel trailer for the people who haven't subscribed and the featured video for returning subscribers. Now we go to the next, the featured sections. Customize the layout of your channel homepage with up to 10 sections. So you can add up, up to 10 sections. Just press the add section and here you can choose uploads, members only videos, popular uploads, short videos, live now, past live streams, upcoming live streams, single playlist, created playlist, multiple playlist, subscriptions, and featured channels. So I choose that one, uploads, uh, popular uploads. I also add short videos because I also do short videos. Live now because I'm doing live streaming, past live streams. You can also add upcoming live streams. You can add a section of a single playlist and I wanted to highlight this playlist about YouTube thoughts for beginners. You can also add a section of subscriptions and a section of featured channels. Now I'm going to add a section of featured channels and these are the channels under the Agape and Storge members of my channel membership. Now I just have to write the section title, featured channel members and just type the YouTube channel name. Walt and Sarah, hashtag relax, kill 365, inspired by nature's ASMR, Joey H. Chan, just check the box, and it will automatically add it on the channels in section. Expedition Greg, Jess at Swiftfield, JP Hand Creations. Press done. Once you have added the 
channel trailer for the people who haven't subscribed, the featured video for returning subscribers, and the featured sections. Again, you can add up up to 10 sections. Now, what you can do next is to arrange the featured sections according to your preference. Since I am doing live streaming, so I want this section of live now on topmost of my homepage so that they will see that right away when I am live at that moment. And then upcoming live streams on the next part so that they will be notified when I will be doing live streaming. I do live streaming every weekend. I also do a lot of short videos so that's why I want it to have its own featured section. I have a video of how to get more views with YouTube Shorts feature. I hope that you check that out because having its own featured section of short videos, it really increases the chances of getting views because this will be visible on mobile devices. So just arrange the featured section according to your preference. So I want to place the playlist of YouTube thoughts for beginners under short videos and then upload so that the viewers will see how active I am on my YouTube channel, popular uploads, and then past live streams. I wanted to put that on the bottom part of my channel page. And this is now my customized channel layout. Now we go to the branding part. What is channel branding? It comprises of characteristics that makes your channel different from other channels. It conveys a specific style and design of your channel. It shows off uniqueness of your channel. On the branding part, there are three parts, the profile picture, banner image, and video watermark. The profile picture, this will appear where your channel is presented on YouTube, like next to your videos and comments. Changes you make here will be reflected across other Google services. It says here that it's recommended to use a picture that's at least 98 by 98 pixels and 4 MB or less. Use a PNG or GIF, no animations file. Make sure your picture follows the YouTube community guidelines, so just press the learn more if you want to have a more detailed information about this part. Now you can just change the profile picture or remove it, and if you can notice, it is visible or it will be shown in a circular form. The next part is the banner image. This image will appear across the top of your channel. For the best results on all devices, use an image that at least 2048 by 1152 pixels and 6 MB or less. I have just recently made a video of how to make YouTube channel art that fits all devices. So I just have uploaded it. So for now, I don't have the need of changing or removing the banner image. I hope that you check out that video also of how to make YouTube channel art that fits all devices. And the third part is the video watermark. I haven't done this yet, so I want to do it now. The watermark will appear on your videos in the right-hand corner of the video player. It will be on this part, right-hand corner of the video player. An image that's 150 by 150 pixels is recommended. Use a PNG, GIF, no animations, BMP, or JPEG file that's 1 MB or less. The video watermark is a feature that increases the chances of getting more subscribers because it is a form of call to action to subscribe. In this part here, you can upload a logo or a customized subscribe button. When the viewers stop this video watermark, the chances of getting more subscribers is increased. Just press upload and I have one here ready and this fills the requirements upload it and press done 
You can customize the display time of the video watermark, either end of the video, start time, or entire video. I choose entire video. That's it. And don't forget to publish so that everything that you have added and arranged and did to customize your YouTube channel will be shown in your YouTube home page. Why should we customize YouTube channel layout and branding? To communicate faster of who you are and what they can get from your channel. To lead the viewers to watch your content and increase engagement on your channel. To attract more viewers, get more views, and gain more subscribers. Now let's take a look at my channel. And this is how it looks like now. The YouTube channel banner or the YouTube channel art, the profile picture, the channel trailer for the non-subscribers, for the newcomers of my channel, for the new visitors, and then the featured playlist about YouTube thoughts, the uploads, these are the recent uploads, the popular uploads, the featured channel members, and the past live streams. If you can notice, the featured section about short videos is not visible here because it is only visible in mobile devices. I will be showing it here on how my customized YouTube channel layout and branding on mobile device looks like. This is how the customized YouTube channel layout and branding looks like on mobile device. You can see the YouTube channel banner or the YouTube channel art, the profile picture, the channel trailer for the non-subscribers, for the newcomers or the new visitors of my channel. And this is the featured section of the shorts videos. It is here where this section is visible only on mobile device. And then the featured playlist about YouTube thoughts for beginners, the uploads, popular uploads, featured channel members, and the past live streams. And that is my video for today on how to customize your YouTube channel layout and branding to increase more engagement and more subscribers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and see you on my next video. Have a nice day!